Part of patient assessment involves auscultation of lung sounds. The question always comes up, where should I listen? Well, in this diagram, you can show in the anterior view of the patient's chest that you're going to listen and compare the right compared to the left. You want to take a listen to each breath sound for at least two cycles so that you can identify what lung sounds you may hear. It is also important to make sure that you listen to the posterior thorax to be able to listen to breath sounds. Here you can see a few areas in which you want to make sure that you listen. Keep in mind, you do not want to be listening over a bone, so it is important to make sure that you're listening through the intercostal spaces. Just as a reminder, as you can see from this diagram, it is very important to make sure that you compare the right and the left sides in the same spot on the opposite side. This gives you an example of what you can do with the anterior view. While you are at the thorax, it is important to also make sure that you listen to the heart. Listen for that lub-dub, lub-dub. You wanna to listen to that for at least two times in the various positions. Here, you can see that you can listen to the aortic, pulmonic, and tricuspid valves, as well as the mitral valve, and you can also listen to the mitral valve on the mid-axillary side.